incredibly painful what's happening in Israel. No one can actually watch what's happening, those acts of brutal terrorism, and to be able to think that this doesn't affect their own heart and their own family and our lives and our hearts go out uh, to all those families that have been uh, brutally attacked uh, there in Israel. We have quite a few Americans that have lost their life in Israel. We have Americans that are unaccounted for, that there's a fear that they're one of the hostages uh, that's in Gaza right now. And so there's a lot that's happening with the movement of the carrier group into the Mediterranean. That's very important to us to be able to have people there standing by for hostage rescue if we need access to those kind of resources and those individuals. But to also be able to speak out very clearly to Iran to say that they need to back off on their support on Hamas and Hezbollah. They do not need to advance an attack from the north with Hezbollah attacking from Lebanon to bring some stability and allow Israel to be able to respond to a group of terrorists that came in and slaughtered over a thousand Israelis. So they, Israel needs the, the opportunity to be able to respond just as we would when we have been attacked in the past by terrorism. Israel has the right to be able to also respond and to be able to make sure they're not attacked like that again.